All right. Hey guys, and welcome to another Blender tutorial. Today is another part of our quick tip series on my channel, and we're gonna be talking about a special feature in Blender called Join UVs. This is a really cool feature we have in Blender, and I'm going to show it to you very quickly. So let's say we have a project set up here, and um, this project is right now, it's just a cube. It's gonna end up being a bunch of cubes. And um, let's say we're not really thinking rationally, and um, we're gonna go ahead and add a texture to this, which is gonna be an image that I have on my desktop. I'm just going to open it up here and then go to my desktop over here, get this brick image. So it's just a simple brick image. And if we go into textured view right now, you can see there's no texture on it. But um, what I want this to do is uh, textured and I want to use a UV map. Now let's say I'm kind of rushed or I'm not really thinking through the project ahead of time and I go ahead U and then I smart UV project this. So now I have this and if I subject this UV map, go into the UV image editor open my brick thing and make sure that it's all on there. Let me open that again, there we go. So now it's all on there and the brick texture will be correctly on my cube. So um, let's say, you know, that's how our cube is gonna look. But before we do that, let's go back in the UV edit image editor and make sure we undo all of this. So we no longer have a UV map. So there's that in there right now. So right now in this cube, we no longer have a UV map. And for whatever reason, we, you know, we, we wanted multiple cubes in the scene that are gonna be the same thing with the same material. So we duplicated them, but we didn't do it before the UV map was applied. Uh-oh, this is a big problem because now, you know, we have all these cubes and I don't want to individually unwrap each of these. And while, you know, it's not a big deal to press smart UV map, with more complex objects, it's going to be harder and harder to UV unwrap things, especially if it required you a lot of time to do the first one because that means, in general, it's going to be hard to duplicate over. And most people think, oh, you know, there's no way to do another UV wrap, I got to start all over. Actually, there's a really simple way. So what we're going to do in here is go ahead and, uh, once again, smart UV project this. And then we're going to open up the UV image editor and select our brick texture. So now you can see in textured view that this is, in fact, UV mapped. Now we're going to, with this still selected and nothing else selected, press A and then A again so that all these are selected, but this is still the main selection, the lighter orange one. And now we're going to press Control L, which is link. And then you can see here at the bottom, it says join as UVs. We simply select this, and now all of these have the same UV as this first one. And now if we go into these and just make sure, we just select the UV map, and we tab into these, and it should be the same UV. And yep, you can see right here that the same UV has already been applied. So all we have to do is go in here and brick JPEG, and there we go. The We didn't even have to unwrap that. So I mean, yeah, it doesn't show up in the texture view because it's not updating correctly, but you can see here that um, all these now will have the same UV image editor, um, UV textures. And so we can just split this area really quickly and show you this UV image editor. You can see this one has it, this one has it, this one has it, and this one has it. And to prove it to you, I can go in here and I can, you know, say take this one UV and grab this up here so it's a little bit odd looking. Now we can do that same thing again, join as UVs. And now when we go into this, you'll see that the UV map has been copied onto all of these. So that's just a quick tip for you all today. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.